morning, Dave Weiss here with the AmokArts.com video blog. I wanted to share, first of all, why I've been away so long, uh, and uh, hopefully we can get things rolling here again. I'm really excited about some things that I've got coming up, and I'm really hoping that you can be a part of it. Um, what I've been doing the last few weeks, uh, the month of October, basically was a blur. Uh, it started off with me uh, having the privilege of speaking to the Atlantic Northeast District Conference of the Church of the Brethren, uh, which was an awesome time. I also built a stage set for that, which you've heard me talking about for months. It's finally finished. It went up and it went off without a hitch, and I was really happy about that. Uh, then I spent uh, four days preaching uh, spiritual renewal or revival services at the uh, Coons and Water. Waterside Church of the Brethren out in uh, Bedford County, Pennsylvania. I uh, had a really awesome time, got to meet a really a, a lot of really nice folks there, and I uh, just want to thank them for receiving me. Uh, I did a message there, a series of messages there called Don't Just Go to Church, Be the Church, and I think that's going to be kind of a recurring message with me over the next few months. Um, I really believe that the Church of Jesus Christ has got to be the Church of Jesus Christ if we want to see the things that God is calling us to do happen. And then finally, I did a series of uh, a youth retreat, excuse me, for the uh, Atlantic Northeast Church of the Brethren Junior High Youth, uh, which was called uh, History Makers. And if you want more about that, just go to my website and uh, just uh, go amokarts.com, excuse me, radicallyreal.truepath.com, and then History Makers, or just write me and I'll send you the link. Um, but anyway, that's a series of messages that I do that uses young people from the Bible to challenge young people of today day. Uh, and of course, with all those, there was lots of art and lots of those kind of things going on. So it was really quite a busy month. But, um, you know, the Lord blessed me and uh, it's been great. Uh, also, hopefully within the next few days, I want to be able to post a video that I did for a, a ministry called Foot Wash Ministries. Brian Taunton and his group in Alabama there, um, that they do a lot of evangelistic things. And I was really excited about that. And I hope to get to share that video with you once I get permission to do it. Um, but anyway, it's been a whirlwind, and uh, I'm really excited uh, to say that the Lord has Lord really worked in it. Um, really got to see a lot of people challenged, and uh, I think ready to move forward and do some great new things for the kingdom. And, and that's what we're all about here at Amok. Um, speaking of which. I have a call out to my artists. I, I'm working on a few things. These are kind of early in the process, but I wanted to alert you to them now. I've got two, uh, a thing that I'm working on called spiritual graffiti. Now, the idea behind spiritual graffiti is it's kind of like regular graffiti, except it's not destructive. The idea is real simple. We create works of art. And we put them out there for people to pick up and take along. And hopefully these pieces of art will get them to uh, respond in some way to the gospel. Now, um, what I'm basically doing is I'm creating little cards like this one here. Uh, this is for the latest project. It's called uh, the Leaving 99 Project. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Um, but it's basically just a card. It has an original work of art, just a simple 3 by 5 card, you know, 100 for a dollar or whatever, you know, and I uh, just draw on them, and I use them to put around, and I link them back to a website. I'm still working on the web page for this, but I'm trying to get some folks to get involved. The uh, Leaving 99 Project is basically about from Luke 15, where Jesus talks about leaving the 99 to go and find the one. And the idea being that Jesus loves you so much that he's coming for you. He doesn't wait for you to walk into his building. He comes to you. And uh, we'll get to more about that. I'm making a video up uh, using these cards as the, uh, again, here's sheep. Uh, we're going to have 99 sheep in the video. And, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these, these cards telling the story. And once the story is done, we're going to post the cards throughout the community. On the back will be a sticker that has a link to the web page. When the people go there, they'll see how to, uh, you know, they'll see the message that we have for them. And then there will be an opportunity for them to go and find a picture. I'm going to actually, I, have, I just finished the painting of the hundredth sheep. I call it Sheep 100. Uh, no real creativity there, but Sheep 100 is this sort of wildly colorful painting of a sheep. And uh, what, what I'm going to do is the first person to find it gets it. 
And uh, so there will be clues in the video. There will be clues on the web page. But what I'd really like to do is I'd like to open this project up to my artist friends all over the world and ask you to do the same thing. That you would create a create a series of a hundred cards. Maybe you want to do it together or do it with a group of other artists. You know, whatever works for you. But create 99 cards, excuse me, and then have one of your group create the hundred sheep. And what we'll do is we'll I'll send you, I'll make you a link up that you can make the labels, you can sign whatever your name is on the back of the card so that they know it's an original work of art by you. It'll link back to my video page. And on that video page, they'll see the video, but then they'll also have the opportunity to have some clues on where to find your hundredth sheep. So I'm really sort of excited about that. It's a great way to just very simply tell people Jesus loves them and that he really cares about them and he's willing to go out of his way to do great things in their life. And then I'm also really, and this is just a seed, we're going to do something similar for uh, World Vision's Access to End Malaria. Um, and for that, I'm looking for either 20 artists to draw 100 images or 100 artists to draw 20 images, whichever comes in. Or maybe we'll just do more than, than the 2,000. Um, because basically malaria is causing massive devastation all over the world. Massive amounts of people are dying for lack of something as simple as a net over their beds at night. Because they're bitten by, of all things, mosquitoes. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get a group of artists all over the world, like I say, to create 2,000 cards that have mosquitoes on them. I'm going to do mine cartoony. You can do yours however you want. I got this idea from Scott Erickson from his videos. He's doing a lot of work for World Vision in this. And uh, basically what I want to do is I want to get a bunch of artists to go around. Again, doing basically the same thing. We'll create cards. We'll put them all over the place. There will be a video made. Um, there will be a gallery online. Uh, maybe we'll have some of these things, again, where you can redirect people to win a, an original piece of art or whatever. Um, but the main purpose of that is I want to try to set something up so that people can uh, find a way to make donations to end malaria. Um, so I'm, I'm really kind of excited about that project as well. If you'd like to get involved in either of these, I'm going to ask you to leave a comment on the video blog or you can email me at amokarts, that's A-M-O-K-A-R-T-S at AOL.com. So I really appreciate you checking into that. I want to close off by reading, this is just a short quote from a book called Lord, Save Us From Your Followers by Dan Merchant. Uh, he was interviewing uh, former Senator Rick Santorum from Pennsylvania here. And uh, this is what he had to say. And I think this is a key for those of us in the arts who want to make a difference for the Lord. He says, I believe the conservatives have spent too much time complaining about what everyone else is doing to them. Instead of going out there and engaging in ways that get the message out, Instead of just doing a Bible series, do feature-length films, not on the Bible, but on things that teach the same virtues in a way that people will want to watch them. People want to watch good entertainment. It's not just the Nativity story or the Passion of the Christ that are important. I took my family to them, a lot of people did, but there are opportunities for us to tell stories in a lot of ways that pass positive messages on to reinforce the teachings of Christ without even mentioning his name. Now that last part I'm a little bit up in the air about. If you want to mention his name, mention his name. If you don't, then just tell the story. But we need to tell the story about this great God of ours and the great things that he wants to do in our lives. We need to stop letting other people paint his picture. We need to paint his picture ourselves. So however you do that, use your gifts, your talents, your abilities to spread the word about Jesus. God bless.